Hey everyone and welcome back to our YouTube channel. This will be a comprehensive step-by-step -step video tutorial. I'll be walking you through exactly how to build a basic conversational chat GPT chatbot entirely from scratch using the BotPress platform. We'll be creating a simple yet functional bot that asks users how many total people are registering for an event. So we're gonna capture that number and then provide personalized recommendations for activities based on the group size given. Even though it's a very basic example bot, the process will thoroughly cover foundational chatbot design principles and skills that you can later apply to much more advanced bots. I'll also try to explain any chatbot terminology you may be unfamiliar with even if you're just getting started in the world of conversational AI and chatbot development. Alright, so let's jump right into the video. So we'll start by giving you a quick tour of the key components that we'll be working with within the BotPress Studio itself. On the left side here, we have the card tray which contains all the drag and drop content that we can use like text, images, questions and more to build our conversational flows. In the middle, we have the visual editor canvas where we'll be placing nodes and linking them together to craft the bot's logic. And on the right is the inspector pane where we can configure any selected items from the card tray to customize their settings. At the top we have menus to manage flows, dialogues, content and other global bot configurations outside of the core canvas area. So that covers the main sections that make up the BotPress chatbot studio that we're going to be using for the tutorial. Pretty nice and intuitive. So now before we drag and drop building the visual conversation, let's take a moment to conceptualize the key overarching flow that we want for our bot to have at a broad level. So at first we want the bot to greet the user with a friendly welcome message once they initially start chatting to get the conversation started. Next it will ask them how many total people are going to an event that they're planning and capture that number. Once the number is given, the bot will provide a personalized recommendation for an activity suitable for that group or that size. Finally, it will thank the user politely and wrap up the conversation. So now we want to start bringing it to life visually, node by node in the canvas. And now we'll begin constructing the conversation workflow by having the bot greet users when they first initiate chatting. Every scene in our bot's dialogue is represented by a node on the canvas. We're gonna start by right-clicking an empty space on the editor and then selecting standard node from the menu and giving it a label like greet user. Each node needs some kind of content, usually starting with a text-based chat message. So I'll drag a text card from the left tray into my node. Now I can type exactly what I want the bot to say to users as the first thing up when they start interacting such as, hi there, welcome to your personalized trip planning assistant. And just like that, I've now built our first initial greeting node that will kick off every new conversation. Next, we need to ask the bot to ask a question to capture details about the user's upcoming trip plans. Specifically, we want the total number of people going, since later we'll recommend activities based on that number. So I'm gonna create another standard node, label it something like capture trip details, and this time drag in a number capture card instead of plain text. So over on the inspector, I can configure the question prompt for this field like how many people total are going on your upcoming trip. And vitally, I'll also create a variable called numTravelers to permanently store the user's response to this question for later use in the conversation. So now we've got an interactive capture field that will obtain the key trip size detail that we need from the user up front. And now for connecting nodes into a logical chatbot workflow. At this point, you may notice that our nodes are still disconnected. We've just built them out individually so far. So let's link them together to form a logical conversational flow. I'll click on my greet user node and then drag an arrow over to the Capture Trip Details node. This will connect them sequentially. And behind the scenes, BotPress's AI engine will automatically handle transitioning the conversation between the nodes for us. And just like that, we've connected the first two critical steps of our chatbot. Greeting, then capturing key details. The next step is that we want to add three cards of expression in the Capture Trip Details. In each one of these expressions, we're going to be identifying the number for the groups that we're going to be recruiting. So to do that, press on add card and then drag and drop expression cards into your captured drip details. 
and then click on each expression and identify the number for conditions. So for example, I'm gonna type for the first one, user input is a number between one and five, and then it will automatically create the condition for you. So you just have to write that prompt. For the next expression, we're gonna write user input is a number between six and 20. And then for the final expression, it's going to be a user input is a number higher than 20. And now comes the fun part. We're going to be creating separate branch nodes that will recommend a specific activity tailored to the number of travelers entered by the user. First, I'll create individual nodes for each recommendation type I want to provide. So for example, a small group breakfast node or a medium group bar and a large group activity node. Within each, we can reference the user's trip size number that we stored earlier in the nom travelers using the at nom travelers in my text cards. This makes each recommendation personalized and you can get as detailed as you want using these. So for example, one message could be a dinner for at nom travelers, people sounds perfect. I'll add similar phrasing to the other ones. So now my bot can provide targeted suggestions based on the group size. And next, I'll link each branch back to a wrap-up node. So now my content nodes are complete, but I do need to wrap up the flow gracefully once a recommendation is provided. I'll create one more node called goodbye with a simple text message like thank you for using our trip planning service. And finally, I'll connect all my recommendation nodes to the goodbye node using always transition logic cards from the left tray. This ensures users end up at the polite farewell containing node to wrap up conversations nicely no matter what path they took previously. And now we want to thoroughly test the bot. So before going live with our bot, it's absolutely crucial that we thoroughly test it from end to end, as chatbots can break easily if there are logical flaws. Luckily, BotPress provides the emulator pane where we can act as a test user. I'll step through my dialogue paths, confirming it works as expected each time. And if we come across any inconsistencies or errors, we can quickly fix nodes on the fly right within the editor. And that covers from scratch process of building a simple yet functioning chatbot with BotPress. Let me know if you have any other questions. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. So if you did, don't forget to leave a like to let us know and subscribe for future videos.